Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, I'm sitting outside here. It's something a little bit different today. I haven't done like Q and A's in a long time, and so um, I feel like I've answered a lot of questions. Hopefully, you guys had. But I know someone had asked about the birth stories of my babies, and I was like, hmm, do I share my birth stories? I'm like, I feel like it's so long ago that I'm like. Oh, is it all good? But I guess people like to hear it and people somebody asked so I thought I would share that today just to give you something different because I do a lot of cooking and cleaning and long long videos so this one will be a lot shorter for those that just have a snippet of time to watch so okay so our babies okay so I'll go through all my babies and so people always like you have 10 kids oh my goodness all these crazy things that birth must be easy no birth is not easy birth is hard having babies is hard <laughs> it is not my favorite thing to look forward to but it's like one of those things that like gets blinded in my mind so it's like then we're like oh let's have another one. Oh, let's have another one no big deal so so for my babies my first one um i had ashlyn and so she was uh, she had a, i had a dream and her name was ashley lauren and so i really liked that name a lot and then um i had a cousin ashley so i was like i don't want to name ashley so then i ended up calling her ashlyn so now there's a lot of ashlyn's which is awesome back then there was not a whole lot of ashlyn's at all and so or i didn't know or a lot of people were naming them ashlyn but i see them all now as i'm getting older i'm like oh i like remember when she went to school like i had heard like maybe two from like a lot of different people like that i've ever heard and now i'm like i hear ashlyn all the time so her name is ashlyn her birth was was first time birth so it was like no big deal they didn't push like the whole epidural back then there goes everybody running they didn't push the epidural back then i think i um just went through the classes and just did the birth naturally and it was painful and hard but it's like i didn't really think too much of it because it was like the first one so i didn't really know what to expect on anything and so um like I said, it was just one of those like, okay, just have the baby. Didn't like, didn't think about a whole lot. As more babies went out, I kind of planned a little bit more and thought about it a little bit more. But that one was more like, okay, just having baby. You know, went in and had her. And afterwards, I did a lot of exercise with her. I swam with her when I was pregnant, and so um, after her, I did a lot of walking too. And I lost a lot of baby weight after her. So that one was kind of easy. I feel like my first one was not easy, but like. I mean, it was hard. Push for, I don't know, 30 minutes, whatever. It tells us a long time ago, like 26 years ago. <laughs> so, that was kind of, it was just like a normal, regular birth, I guess is the word. And then I um, got pregnant with Colin. And then Colin, I think we had a couple names picked out. I remember on Index Card, I think Alex was one of the names for Colin. That's all I kind of remember, but we stuck with Colin. And so, um, his birth was, again, it was one of those, like, I just, it, we just went in and had babies. So, it was just like a, regular birth didn't do epidurals or any of that and just um had the baby and then afterwards the recovery was was fine i never really had any issues it's like i would stay in the hospital for a day or like usually about one day and then i would come home and just rest for a little bit and i'm not much of like a sit around kind of lay around person i'd lay, lay as i needed but then within a you know a couple like a day or so i'm like up and moving and ready to do with life because i have to because i have kids but it wasn't like i needed to lay down because i was so sore and so his was pretty decent too. Lauren was, she was born a little bit earlier. And then, um, so she, she came about four weeks early, about four weeks earlier, three and a half weeks earlier. She wasn't like at risk of anything, but she was really tiny. I remember she just was the baby that I went in and, um, we labored and it was like no big deal it was during the middle of the night i remember because um like i don't if you asked me the times my babies were born i would be like i don't even couldn't even tell you that because <laughs> a lot of it was a blur hers was during the night because i remember the doctor had came in and because um she was coming out i was like oh this baby's coming and so she had my husband literally like he came in my husband called for the doctor and he ran and his glasses were all turned everywhere and his hair was all disheveled because he was sleeping and she just kind of kind of fell right out she was kind of tinier i remember she fit like in my hand my arm right here she was a little bit smaller um she was like six pounds and so she was one of my smallest babies and ash and colin are more normal size seven eight pound babies can't give you exact numbers but about that i think colin was eight one maybe ash was seven thirteen from what i remember i think lauren was six one and so um she was real easy real easy birth and it just like she almost just fell out and i was like okay that was really that was like one of the easiest ones i think there wasn't a lot of pushing and pushing is i think pushing is the worst pushing is the worst i feel like labor pains they're painful yeah it hurts i get that but the pushing part oh their shoulders those are like killers killers so i feel like um hers just she just kind of came out it was no big deal she was so small which was awesome and so again recovery after her was I, like i already had babies to take care of so there wasn't like a whole lot of sit around what was me time i was like okay you just got to do and we never had help afterwards it was just always my husband and i and he had always had to go back to work so it was just me taking care of my babies there are days i stayed in pajamas there's days i slept in oh yeah um but you just did it we just did what we could do i didn't have time to call people and tell them to come help me it didn't have that i just had to do it myself and so um then we had evan 
Evan again was just a normal regular birth and so he um, he was regular I, I'm trying to think I like I don't remember a whole lot of like awfulness about the birth but it was still a moment of like just always joys always joys to see your baby for the first time and so we had him Evan all my boys their middle names are named like Colin is named after my husband Gregory Evan is named after my dad Will I'm sorry Sorry, I had to think for a minute. Colin is named after my husband, Gregory. Evan is named after my dad, William. And then um, Jensen is named after Greg's dad, Joseph. And so we'll get to that in a minute. So anyways, okay, so Evans was like normal whatever birth. It was not whatever, wonderful birth. I couldn't tell you how big he was. I have to look back at my things, normal size once again. And then we didn't have any babies for five years um, at all between that time. And then after Evan, it was kind of, we were thinking like, once you have three and then you go to four, it's like, it's no big deal, people have said. And so we were like, oh, no big deal. So we just, we were like, whatever, we were young and in love and just all these things. And we were like, we loved our family. We loved having kids. We loved spending time with them. That was something we really, really enjoyed doing. It's just, we, it was us. We didn't get to go out a lot. We didn't get to go on our own doing these things and date and all those fun things. We just spent time with our kids. And that was like one of our favorite things to do. It still is one of our favorite things to do. And so then, um, we didn't have for five years, and during that time is when I became a Christian. I actually, when Evan was in my belly, I became a Christian, which was really cool. I was um, just a few months pregnant. It was like in the fall when I would have gotten pregnant. He was actually New Year's. We got pregnant with him on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Yes, I remember that one. <laughs> so he, um, right after that, was when I became a Christian, and then I was baptized. He was, I was baptized when he was in my belly. So that was exciting for me. And so um, we had a miscarriage. That was my first miscarriage after he was born and I still remember the baby like coming out and like it was about this big and so it was about the size of my thumb and I was about 11 12 weeks pregnant yeah about 11 weeks pregnant and so size of my thumb I still remember it was like wrapped in a perfect little sack you could see the eyeballs and everything and so I had um, just miscarried at home and so then I um, we buried the baby. We named it Jordan because we didn't know if it was. If any of you mamas have miscarriages or that, always name your baby. Always name your baby. I didn't think like much of it. I'm like, that's kind of weird. But I'm glad we did because now we refer to that baby as Jordan. So it's like, oh, our baby Jordan's in heaven. You know, and so um, we buried the baby at my mama's house. And so my mom and dad have it over by their playhouse under a rock. Because I, we had rental houses and I didn't want to bury it at a house that I didn't wasn't going to stay at. But I knew my parents would stay at their house forever and ever and ever. So that is where baby Jordan was just, the size of my thumb, was buried there. So, um, and if, let's think that would be about 16 years old, 16, 17 years old. Right, It'd be between Evan and Janie, about 16 years old. So I'd have a 16 year old right now. So I always say we have our family started in heaven. And so um, then we became Christians. Like I said, my husband and I both during that time, we started going to church. And then after that, we were just like, okay, let's just start having babies. And so <laughs> we prayed and we were like, okay, Lord, just give us babies. Whatever babies you want, we'll take. Well, God was like, all right, we got an open door. Let's give you all the babies I can do. <laughs> so every year and a half, year year and a half two years we had a baby and so and it was great we got pregnant with Jaden it was like doing it all over again for the first time type thing and um and a great birth wonderful I was pregnant with my 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 good friend at the time growing up and she was she was actually delivered the next day I called her I said you know the the hallway across the the or the door across the hallway is, is open and so she actually came in that night and had her baby the next day so I was like that was pretty exciting so we got to be pregnant together enjoy all those things and it was like and it, it wasn't it was almost like having a new baby because there was five years my older four were a little bit bigger so it was all new having baby again and so her birth was great easy normal size baby couldn't tell you the size of her but yes normal size um i don't remember if she was born in the day or night isn't that wonderful it's yeah see blinded i think god's blinded a lot of the pain and a lot of the hurt during that time <laughs> so, another good birth and then brooklyn came along um after Jaden and she was um, like 15, they're about 15 months apart. Jaden was born in July and Brooklyn was born in December the following year. So they, um, and her birth, it was Christmas. I remember it was winter time. It was winter time. She was born December 6th. And so I remember going into labor and we were driving. It was snowing, snowing, bad snowstorm. And um, and her birth was, again, We I started learning about epidural at that time. And so I was like, Oh, epidural, what? Do I want to do this? Because before first four kids, they didn't like recommend it. Now it's like, just have one, no big deal. But back then they were like, didn't really push it at all. Cause they're like, oh, all the risk of all these things. Well then with Brooklyn, we decided to like, let's, let's try this. And so I did and I was like, oh, you mean I can sit and like talk with my husband and play cards and play games and enjoy birth? <laughs> that was a whole different revelation. I was like, okay, that was, that was quite interesting. A lot, a lot 
better than enduring the pain. <laughs> so breathing, all those things do help when you when you have them, but the epidural was like, wow, that was like a lifesaver. And so, I mean, still painful gets you when those contractions hit and it's hard. It's like, yeah, that epidural is not gonna help, but it does help relax you so that you can just have the labor and that it makes it go a lot faster. I find, I've always, they've always induced with, um, I'm trying to think, I think that, I went into labor with the kids. Jade and I was induced, and so myself, I wanted to plan it because of I had other kids at home and I needed to make arrangements for them. So Jade and I wanted to induce. Brooklyn just came a little bit earlier, a few days earlier, so we didn't induce her. Um, and then her birth was fine, and again, like boom, back to normal at the state of the hospital for a day, and then I had to get back to life. So recovery was great, all those fun things on um, myself. It wasn't like a bad thing, and then we had the next child, which would be Autumn. And Autumn was, that was, a, she was a big baby. She was my biggest baby ever and by the time I was seeing my doctor she's like oh you've already you got this no big deal I'll see you next week see you next week and then she was going on vacation and so she really just thought I would have her and I assumed I would have her and then um, I would see other doctors in there at that time and so I remember going in it was like okay it was the time off and I didn't like have the baby and then it was like a week a couple days later and I was still going in and they're like and still didn't have the baby and the doctor's like oh you'll have her you'll have her well then um, Finally, it had been two weeks and I was like, I was done, I was so done, I was so much pain. It was a lot of pain those last two weeks and I remember calling my doctor and she's like, oh, you have not had that baby yet, you need to come in. <laughs> so I had already been laboring at home like daily, like every day I would sit in my bathtub for hours, like hours. I literally would sit in the bath and just let the water from the shower beat on my belly because it was so much pain and so, but nothing, came out of it nothing was happening and so I was like so that was a hard one autumn was probably my hardest and so then when I went in to have her she was my biggest baby she was nine pounds one ounce nine, no ten almost ten pounds nine pounds ten ounces yeah she was almost ten pounds and I remember that birth that was hard and painful and big baby I remember that <laughs> I remember those shoulders. I still remember that pain because that, like I said, the pushing through that, and it was just like, oh my gosh, and she was so big. Joy and a wonderful baby. Very happy for my autumn, my posy. But a biggest baby and probably one of the hardest births. And so just hard because it was, she was big. That was all, those big babies. Oh, I feel bad for you mamas with big babies. Small babies are awesome. Those big ones are a little bit harder. And so it was just being overdue like that. And so, um, so her recovery afterwards, I was a lot more sore with her just because she was so big, obviously. That makes sense. And so, um, but that didn't hold us back because we got pregnant and had Jensen right after that. <laughs> Autumn is 10 and Jensen is nine, so they're only about a year apart, year and a half apart. And so, yeah, a year and a couple months. So that didn't hold us back too much. And so I must have blinded that out. I still remember, I still remember to this day Autumn's birth. Her sticks out the most out of anybody's because that was, was the most painful. And then Jensen came along and Jensen was uh, easy birth. We planned his as well. Um, to be born and we did epidural with him too and like regular normal birth no big deal After I had him it was like okay every doctor was like or my almond doctor was like you sure you don't like your tube side Don't you want to do this? We're like no we're good. We have another one. We have another one And that's how I felt after everybody with autumn. I was kind of like okay I was more afraid I think and, and afraid to have more because it was so painful Kitty cat scaring me and so um but after everybody was like, okay, we'll have another one, have another one. And so Jensen was normal and all fine. And then, um, and okay, go back to names. I, did you, the first four, we just kind of looked at baby name books. Jaden came along, had a name picked out for her and it was Elise, I think we picked out for her, which we have on a friend, Elise, right now. But where I was like, I don't know, she doesn't look like Elise. We had Brooklyn picked out and I was like, well, she doesn't really look like a Brooklyn. And then my husband went home and Jaden had come after us praying for years for a baby and not having one. And then we had her and then we prayed for a healthy birth. She came, her birth, I'm going back in my stories, her, her, when she was born, her, her um, umbilical cord was tied into a pretzel knot. And so the doctor was, and we even got a picture of it. And so my, um, the doctor's like, wow, she would have had to have swum around, swam, swam, swam around inside my womb and tied that knot before she was so many weeks. And normally what happens is it pulls and then we cut off their oxygen when she was born completely fine and no issues whatsoever. So my husband went home, he was looking up names because we were looking, I even asked for a baby name book in the hospital. I'm like, I had all this time to prepare and didn't even have a name. And then he called and he's like, honey, I got her name. And I'm like, okay. And he told me Jaden. And I was like, Jaden? I was like, hmm, okay, and then he's like, no, let me tell you what it means, and it means God has answered, and I was like, or God has heard, and I was like, ah, that's her name. So that's how Jaden's name came about. 
Her name, Brooklyn's name came up because I love the name Brooke, but we were going with the end name, so I had to put Lynn on there. So we have Brooklyn, that's how her name came about. I had her picked out for Jaden. And when we had Autumn, I was like, I looked and looked and looked, and I could not come up with the name, and nothing was sticking out. And then I just had looked through a baby announcement book one time of a magazine, it was Keepers at Home magazine, and one of the babies was Autumn Rose. And I was like, oh, Autumn Rose? I'm like, I like that name. And she was due the first day of Autumn, but she didn't come the first day of Autumn. She came two weeks later. <laughs> so, her name has got the silent end, but it still ends in the end. And I'm like, I like that name. And that fits her perfect because Autumn Rose is just, she's like, we call her Poe. Could have called, I should have called her Autumn Posey because she really likes posies. And I mean, she's a flower girl. That's Autumn. So, okay, that's Autumn. Then we had Jensen, and Jensen came along. Um, my husband was doing a lot of worship at church, and we were listening to Ricardo Sanchez. If you guys know who Ricardo Sanchez is, he was a worship leader for Jensen Franklin and the preacher, and which is actually down here somewhere. Actually, we passed by his church in North South Carolina before. I think he's got one in Georgia too and um, we actually went to a conference and my husband got to sit and talk with him Ricardo Sanchez one-on-one -on -one, and we really liked his music and all that and so um, when we had Jensen before we had Jensen I'm like we need to come up with a name and then I saw and then I was looking up Ricardo and it was linked to Jensen Franklin's church and was looking at the name and I'm like Jensen I'm like ooh, we need to name our son Jensen so Jensen Franklin is J-E-N-T-E-Z-E-N -E -E so we just took out the E in the middle J-E-N-T-Z-E-N -E -E and that's where Jensen's name came and so even when he was born his hair he had this hair and it was great looking hair and Jensen Franklin, he's an older gentleman who has a lot of hair in his head. Um, and great hair, I say. And so Jensen had always had his hair. And Jensen is my hair boy. So I always say, when he was born, I'm like, oh, he even looks like Jensen Franklin <laughs> with his hair all slicked back because it was all dark like that. But you know my Jensen. Jensen has his long hair. He loves his long hair. He has always loved When he was a baby, he would reach up and feel he had long hair. And he would feel it and play with it. Most babies would play with their mama, touch me or feel me. No, he felt his hair. And then when I cut it off, he would go up there and you could tell he wanted to feel it and there was no hair to feel, so I let it grow, and that's what he would do is massage his own hair, and so he loves his hair. He loves his hair, and that's why Jensen has long hair. <laughs> Everyone's like, you need to cut his hair. He loves hair, he loves it long. I did cut, shave up the back and left the front long so he could have that long hair, but he loves his hair. So Jensen, that's where Jensen comes from, Jensen Franklin. And so then, okay, so then we're going on to the next child, which is Madeline, and so, um, Meanwhile, having baby after baby, busy, busy, busy mama, and birth with Madeline was the same. Again, we, um, did we plan Madeline? No, we didn't plan Madeline because she was born on February 14th. That's what it was. I wasn't, uh, I, she, we just went in and had her naturally, or naturally, naturally with an epidural. And that was, again, good birth. Like, I don't have any, like, huge or, hor or horrible birth stories because they were all just, like, go in and have babies. No issues whatsoever after any of them. It was like, go in, have the baby, and get out, and I'm ready to roll. So the last few babies, I stayed in the hospital for a few days just for a sanity break because that was like a vacation for me. People don't go to the hospital at vacations, but I did. <laughs> so it was my time away. My husband was home with the kids. It was the only time I got to have any alone time in silence because I was busy and full force mom mode. So I had Madeline, my redheaded baby. Madeline, I don't even know. The name just came up, Madeline. We just had Madeline picked out. We weren't sure if she was going to be a boy or a girl. We found out. We didn't find out with Jaden. Found out with Brooklyn, found out with Jensen, didn't find out with Madeline what she was gonna be. A couple we kept a surprise. That was just, at the time in life, I was like, I wanna know so I can be prepared. Some were like, oh, no big deal. We have both sizes, so it didn't really matter clothing-wise. Madeline, we, hers was a surprise of what she was. Birth, great. Recovery, great. And then we had um, Steven. Steven, even during the pregnancy, and after Madeline, it was like, okay, I'm gonna have more, we'll have more, it'd be great. Steven, when I was pregnant with Steven, like I, um, I exercised more, like after Madeline, I lost all my baby weight, lost 80 pounds, went down 12 dress sizes, felt great, Was that was like my recovery from, because after Jaden to Madeline, I was really busy mom mode and I had put on a lot of extra pounds after babies and so it was a lot harder to lose, I sat home a lot more, I didn't get out, I couldn't get out because there were so many of them, but after Madeline, I really, um, focused on losing the weight because I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of being overweight. I'm tired of feeling this way. And so I really exercised and lost that weight. And then I was like, why is this weight not coming off anymore? And then I ended up being pregnant with Steven. And so, so with Steven, I exercised and um, ate better than I had eaten or was probably the healthiest I'd ever been with all my kids. But that pregnancy I felt was the hardest, not hard in a hard way, just like I felt tired. My body was sore. And I was like, the whole time it was like, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. And I was like, maybe I'm just getting older. But it was like, I, now I look and I know it was God because it was God like saying, you're not gonna have to do this anymore. It wasn't awful like I hated it and it was bad. It was just, 
whatever, but it was just more like, it was put inside my heart, like God gives you the desires of your heart. People say, if you pray to God and ask for babies, he's gonna give you a hundred. No, he's not gonna give you a hundred. There's people that only have a couple kids that pray to God for a baby. Some that don't have any kids that pray for babies. I just knew in my heart that that, I like felt like that was gonna be it. There was gonna be no more. And so even giving birth to Stephen, it was probably like his birth, I remember, and it was like, it was like, it was harder, like harder painful wise, I guess is the word, still did epidural, still painful. Him, I remember his birth and Autumn's birth the most. And so, um, and even after Autumn, I would, you'd think I wouldn't want any more because <laughs> her stuck out so big. No, because that's where God just changed my heart. But with Stephen, I feel like that was it. That was it, I was gonna ha not have any more. And I felt total peace at that, like total peace at that. And um, people, because people were always like, where are you gonna stop it, which number? I'm like, I don't really have a number. It's up to God and what he does. And so Stephen, it was like we had him, um, we came up with his name, Stephen Paul, because at church, we were going to our church, and um, they were reading through the book of Acts, and we were talking about Stephen, the great faith of Stephen and Paul. And so, um, when we were looking at names, I'm like, Stephen, that's we're gonna, Stephen Paul, that's who we're going to name Stephen. So Stephen's the only biblical name we have, um, and that was why, because that was the time in our life, and we really liked that name. So, um, so after him, it was, like I said, the recovery was like, stay in the hospital for two days. I was up and at him. Um, I, with our baby, I took, I even took like treats and stuff for the hospital staff, thanking them for all the births, because I, I still remember most of the people were the same, and I had a big giant basket full of cookies and little um, cool pens, and like wrote nice little notes for everybody as a thank you, because that's what nurses and, and they come in all the time so anybody that came in my room I would be like take a take a take a gift thank you thank you for my family and so um the people that come clean my room I had them take a gift just as a thank you because they took care of me really well every single time I was there I had no issues whatsoever they were wonderful wonderful staff at the hospitals I remember when they would after being in there a bunch of times I'd start filling out those reviews and giving them tips and pointers on what they could do and then as I went in there back in having babies I saw a lot of those things implemented and I'm like you guys are awesome. You guys listen and you guys actually do. And so it was good. It was good to, to help out and encourage and be there. And, and um, we love it. So that was like, then we had Steven and that was that was it. And I didn't feel like I needed any more. And then we ended up moving here to North Carolina. And that's when like life changed for me because being in Michigan, he was two when we left. I couldn't do a whole lot because I had so many babies and there were so many. It was too much to take everybody out everywhere. And then we had upped and moved to North Carolina. And then like life has been wonderful. I mean, it was wonderful back then. It was just busy. But here I've been able to do so much more. I can take them all to the lake. We can take them all to the park. And it's like, it's not so tied down to sitting at home all day long taking care of babies. And so, um, and then we did get pregnant when we were here. And I was kind of like, it was really strange because I was like, wow. I'm like, okay, Lord. I'm like, I feel like you've told me I'm not going to have any more. And I'm like, it was really strange to get pregnant. And then um, I had lost that baby. I was only a few weeks into it and had lost the baby and I really, I didn't feel like sad, I mean it's sad that I lost the baby, but I didn't feel like, like I knew I wasn't going to have any more and so I was kind of like, okay, I'm like I don't know why or what reason or whatever, so we had a little Carolina baby here, didn't have a name, but I'm going to refer to it as the Carolina baby. <laughs> so that's that's our birth stories. I don't know if it's very exciting, we don't have any like woo-ha stories about them, they were all like just regular births. I've had zero issues having babies at all, zero issues whatsoever after one of them and I couldn't even tell you which one I had some sciatic pain a lot of I think it was autumn she was the big one the sciatic nerve going down at that like where I would walk and it would like kink and it would get really s stiff and someone had said maybe it's because of the epidural I don't know if that was the reason it took a long time to go away probably a good year till I never had that pain again but I was heavier so I don't know if it was just that too um we can blame a lot of things in life when we don't take care of our bodies it's hard to to like say that I'm like I can't sit there and complain that I'm having a static nerve pain when I got these extra weight on my body and so <laughs> never good and so um so after that I just started exercising take care of myself and I feel like that helped all of that so I don't know if that was because of the epidural or not but those are like my birth stories I don't know if that's very exciting for you guys but that is how I had my babies they were just like one after the other life is busy life was crazy but we just did it and I just felt peace every single time that we did and then um and we're thankful love our family love our family we won't have any more we won't have any more babies unless the lord surprises me and says here you're gonna have another baby but i really feel like in my heart i'm not going to have any more and i haven't had any more it's been stephen is going to be seven this fall and so um do, will we adopt will we do all these things i don't know it's all up to the lord i seek the lord with what i do and if he's going to show me to do that then i will definitely do that and listen and obey so but love our families love what we have Love each and every one of them. Love the closeness. If anybody always says, should you have kids far apart or close together? Have them close together. Way better have them close together. It's crazier in the beginning. 
very crazy in the beginning because there's so many of them and it's magnified but as they grow they grow and become friends like i know my older ones are a lot separate in age and it's harder relationship wise like there's not a lot of bonding because they are further apart as they get older now and they're you know they're all doing the same thing as adults they more can talk and, and, and that kind of thing but um and share but when they were younger they didn't really have a lot to relate on so my younger set like Jaden and Brooklyn are together, Autumn and Maddie are together, Jensen and Steven are together. They're so close, it's like that bond. It's almost like they're twins, I guess, in each, in each little group. And they have a whole lot more camaraderie together because they are similar in age. So you mamas out there wonder if you should separate and spread out in ages. No, put them all together if you can. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's. I think it's gonna be better in the run. Like I know my kids, and it's a little crazy for teenagers because you have it magnified, I think, for the ages, but they can still be good friends and they can still hang out and be, and always have somebody who's close to their age to be together with so okay so i'm gonna go in now because i'm gonna go check my kids and hopefully no bears over this way for me i hope you enjoyed this video something a little different just about the birth stories of my babies and how we went about having all of our babies and we've just always given them to god and if that's something he wants us to do then he will and we've asked him okay lord if you want us to have babies we'll have them we've gotten pregnant and if he didn't then we haven't gotten pregnant so pretty cool like that way so okay you guys have a great day and we will see you guys again tomorrow okay bye